Topping our news at 11, two dangerous accidents no one could have seen coming, both happening though in Macomb County. Let's start in Sterling Heights where a family with two young daughters, thankful they were in the front of their home and not the back when a piece of metal came flying into the back door wall. Our Mar McDonald is live near Mound and 17 Mile and Mara, uh, Mara Sterling Heights Police. They got out there pretty fast. The fire department did too. Kimberly, they sure did. And this all started here in this industrial park where you have a guy working with a blowtorch. You hear a boom, then a projectile is in the air. Do you see the wall back there? That projectile goes beyond the wall and into the neighborhood behind it. The chaperones love their backyard with its water feature and expansive deck. Usually they'd be out here enjoying the day with their girls. It's riding up. Today, thank goodness, they were inside. We heard a big explosion and we just kind of looked at each other like, what was that? That sounded like it was right by our house. Seconds later, we definitely heard something hit the house right after the explosion. It was like 10 seconds afterwards, but we weren't sure what it was. And I was kind of afraid to come by the window. It looks like a giant metal clam that hit the deck so hard it smashed in some of the wood and then shattered the rear door wall. I slowly creeped over and I looked and I seen the uh, hunk of metal. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Whoa is right. Turns out someone at a nearby business was using a blowtorch on a metal barrel and it exploded, hurtling the top through the air and right into the chaperone's home. Luckily, nobody was hurt. I definitely feel lucky that it, we weren't outside because it is a nice day today and we could have been out here with our dogs and little children. Back here live, Sterling Heights Fire was out here at the business making sure that the guy with the blowtorch was okay. They say he has an injured hand but is otherwise going to be okay. Meanwhile, the owner here has already called the chaperones to apologize for that flying barrel lid and says his insurance will take care of all the damage. We're live in Sterling Heights tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. Good to hear and so glad that nobody got hurt. All right, Mara. Devin.